Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Diablo 4. Just what you need another D4 video. Now my last four streams I've played almost 40 hours of 0.91 Rising Flames for last epoch and during those four streams I keep getting asked over and over again which is very understandable about Diablo 4. Hey Aaron are you going to make build guides? Hey Aaron are you going to cover the news? Hey Aaron are you going to give tips and tricks? And I thought, why not record a quick video and let everybody know my plan for Diablo 4. Now, as you know, or maybe you don't know, I have been signed by Icy Veins. And I'm going to be creating tips and tricks, news and build guides for their new Last Epoch portal, their new site they are going to have up. So Last Epoch is always going to be my main game. But also, I have other games currently in the rotation. Games like Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr Season 7 coming up. Games like Torchlight Infinite, which I'm currently playing Season 3. And then I'm always dabbling and checking out other content all the time. And a game that's going to make it into that rotation, you guessed it, is of course Diablo 4. Now, normally, I main Necro. I actually like Necro or Sword and Board. Those are like my two go to's. And after playing the first event to level 25 with Necro and then playing Server Slam to level 20 with Necro, I have made the hard decision to not main Necro in Diablo 4. OK, now I have my reasons. If you I mean, I'm not I'm not going to go through all of them. I've ranted a lot on my streams. But just because I'm not going to play Necro does not mean that I'm not going to play Diablo or I think it's a bad game. I just don't like the functionality of the class. Now, I have already made a first impressions video on Diablo 4. I did not say it's a terrible game. I did not say it's a bad game. I did not say it's an average game. And I did not say it is a terrific, fantastic, amazing game. I said in its current state, with what I know, it's a good game. And good is a good score for something that is just dropping. OK, so I just want to be clear on my current thoughts on Diablo 4. So what have I technically said in these two minutes? I have said that I will be playing D4 and it will be in my seasonal rotation of games I am going to play. But I will not be playing Necromancer. I will be playing, though, Druid. And I finally had the opportunity to play with this D4 builds GGG site. I created an account and I've been messing around here with it. I've made the decision that I am going to main a druid werewolf wolf pack build. I want a pack of wolves running around or maybe even a pack of werewolves running around. So it is going to be a druid werewolf companion build that I am going to try and use. So that is what's going to happen with D4. And coming this Friday, my wife is going to be streaming with me on Twitch. And we're going to be playing some D4 together. All right. So that's the plan. No Necro. Necro is currently out. Wolf, Pack, Druid. And we'll see where we can take it. I don't know. Maybe it's going to suck. I have no idea. I've heard nothing but bad things about Druid. But maybe they're all wrong. And this is going to scale great for end game. And of course, once we get through the whole campaign, we know for season one that's coming at the end of July, we're going to have to start over anyway. So it's really going to be a good learning opportunity and see the story and campaign cinematics. So that's all I've got. That's the plan. Come to Twitch this Friday if you want to see me and the wife starting our grind on D4. And anybody that wants to offer any advice on my wolf pack build, I would appreciate it. That's the video. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out.